All right. So for now, we're going to create a, another method. Um, but I would like to separate the methods from from these because this we shouldn't this is just a validation method a validation class um, and this is a database class right so we really shouldn't we should separate the two so I'm gonna create another a users class okay I'm gonna create a user class and um, hmm and then with this class, we can create a protected variable to store our PDO method, um, the DB, um, which is going to be called DB. Um, so let's get started. Um, so, hmm. I'm not sure how we're going to call that. Uh, all right. Um, all right, let's get started. So we're going to call We're going to make me this uh, variable that's going to store the database or the the PDO connection that we have here. We're going to name that um, DB, protect the DB. Um, and of course, whenever we do that, then it's obvious we're going to create a constructor. So it's going to be public, um, public function. Um, we're going to give it uh, construct okay um, and this doesn't take anything we just have to instantiate the DB DB um, DB and that's equal to the database instance right okay and that's it we're done for that so this is going to run automatically and this the PDO is going to be this guy here okay why is this red what's going on um, Protected DB public function dollar sign this like database so I'll just keep going it's probably in some type of error and now we can create the uh, functions right we're gonna create the function for the email we want to know if the email exists right so we want to do a match it so when we lo uh, when we log in we log in with our uh, email and our password so we want to know okay so I'm logging in with Joe at me.com does this Joe at me.com exist in the database, right? And then if it does, it'll allow you to log in. If not, throw an error, okay? So we're going to say public function um, email exists, okay? And that takes in, you guess it, the email. <coughs> All right. So now we're going we're gonna to create our SQL um, uh, query. Um, PDO. So we're gonna we're gonna create a variable called statement um, equals, and it's gonna be a dollar sign this DB, and then we're gonna call the prepare method. Okay, and then from here we're gonna create our um, a SQL query. So we're gonna say select everything, select star from the users table, and these are two back ticks. Okay. And then we're going to say where, another back tick, two back ticks, email equals email. Oh, what is this? Okay. So we basically saying select star from users, select everything from users where email equals email. So this will be whatever the user passed in, the email. But we don't want to use a variable right um if we was to use a variable then that could lead to some you know bad guys trying to learn things and they hack they could hack you you know sql injection so the beauty with pdo is we can use a placeholder um this is a placeholder and then later on we could bind to it later on so never use the actual variable in there because the users can 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 actually do harm to your database. Um, and there's something wrong here with this. Oh, I didn't have, I didn't close it. 
Okay, there we go. So now we can actually bind to it, right? So we're going to do a statement. And we're going to use a, a built-in, another PDO um, built-in function called bind param. Okay, so this is going to bind to, it's going to take um, the placeholder um, and it's going to bind it to um, the variable. Okay, so this here, whatever the user passed in. Um, and then the third one, third option is, it takes in three options or probably more, but the three options are, the third one is optional. So basically it's going to say, you're going to provide an um, entry where you're going to let you know what type of um, data type is it. Is it a, a integer or a string, right? And we know it's an email, so it's a string, right? So we're going to do right now, we're going to do uh, the placeholder first. Email. Okay. Um, then the variable, email. That's whatever the user is going to pass in. And then now we're going to say, is this a, what type of um, data type is this? So we're going to say PDL. Okay. Um, something is wrong here. What is going on? I do not know. Okay. And then, you know, PDO and param. And I see that. Oh, let me just type it in. And the param is a string. That's it. Okay. So we're done with the um, binding. So the next we. After you, you create the query, you bind the parameters, and then you execute it. You run it, right? So we're going to do a dollar sign statement, execute. Okay? And after you execute it, we're just going to return um, return the uh, the results, right? But we want to return it as a um, as an object, right? Because we work in object-oriented language, object-oriented programming. So we want to return it as an object. So we're going to say return dollar sign statement. Um, then we're going to use another built-in PDL function, right? And then we're going to return the object. So it's a PDO fetch. Is it up? Yeah, everything's up the case. Fetch. I see you all the way down there. Fetch object. All right. And that's it for that. Okay, so um, the reason this is like that we it's not being used anywhere yet. So once we actually use it, it'll the color will change. That's I like this uh, PHP Storm editor. Um, so now we can go back to we can go back here, and we can actually use it now, right? So uh, we can we can go. Um, you have to instantiate the uh, the class, right? Or instantiate the class object. All right, so we can use its methods. Um, so we could call the user. Um, no, that's going to be too complicated. User object. User object. Uh, that's fine. Um, and then new user. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So now we have access to it. Um, let's see. So we can actually call it right now in the index. Um, but instead of calling it not just yet in the index, let's do another test. Let's let's um, because right here, as you can see, um, this password is plain text, and that's terrible, right? You know, someone get a hold of your your database login and they can see your <laughs> your password it's not encrypted so what we can do we can actually create another method within the user class um, it's a one-liner public function um, and we're gonna name it hash password hash um, and it takes in the, the password the password that the user is gonna enter into the form um so it's going to return and we're going to right now we're going to use a php um function called password hash okay so 
It takes in the password that you're passing in, and it takes in the, the algorithm you want to use. Um, so the the best, well, in my opinion, the best one is Bcrypt. Uh, Bcrypt. So it's strong, and I don't think it's um, well. I, knock on wood, right? <laughs> Nothing is in, in unhackable, but it's really strong. Um, so password and the password we want to use is bcrypt you see all these other guys here so the majority of the people use default or bcrypt they use one of these two so bcrypt so you know you see this little 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 tooltip algo for algorithm okay so that's it for that right so let's create a login form So PHP file login.php and so from here we can actually echo it out, right? We're gonna echo um, our password. Right now we want to convert this password string into a hashed encrypted password. So in order to do that, we can call our user object, user obj called hash, and then we're gonna pass in our string and we call it's password that's what because whatever we have here let's say you can have any string here in your database you just got to copy that pass whatever their password is as long as it's not encrypted it's just plain text and you can paste it in here all right and then let's go into login oops I did a login instead of login.php on caught hash on call function login uh, I know why isn't <laughs> um, because in in the init in the database user index I didn't include this guy here so you have to include the initialization so that's required if we want to communicate with the database all right and there you go that's the hash that's this is the equivalent this is password basically the word password my password this is the password this long string so you can see it's like pretty like it'll take a while to to hack this to get this so we can copy this and paste it into the password field apply apply finish close that make sure if it's saved let me run it again and you see that's encrypted password so now I can I can log in I would be able to log in using this password so let's see time so in the next video um, we're gonna create a simple we already have the login form here so we're just gonna create the, the form um, the email field and the password field and the simple submit button to test it out. Um, that shouldn't take so long, it should be a few minutes. I'll see you in the next video.